Oh, hey folks, how you doing? This is Paul. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you a really nice review of, I know, I know you can't see me real well, but I got to do this when I throw the discs. I want you to be able to see them. I'm going to bring you a definitive uh, proof, at least for my throwing style. You're going to see the difference between these Mambas. I have a 172 Mamba and two 170s. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw these exclusively with the exception of these, which is going to be a Corvette at a 14.6. And I think it's a minus one. And then we've got a Colossus, which is a 14.5. Um, I think minus two. And then we have a, 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 a Katana, which is, I think, a 13.5 also uh, with a, um, a minor negative. So we've got these three completely different discs in similar size because we've got a 175 Katana. Sorry, folks. We've got a 175 Katana. Sorry, I'm going to try to keep it so where you can see it, okay? Sorry about that. And um, uh, we've got the Colossus coming in at a 169. The Cantana is 175. And the Corvette is at a 173. So these are pretty close matching. You know, so I, I was going to use the, the Boss, but I only, have a, I only have a 153 and 155. So I don't really want to use those. I want to use close discs. So here we go. I'm going to throw first all three of these uh, Mambas, which are getting a poor rating from people uh, who are rumored to be not good at uh, throwing golf discs. So let's go ahead and get into this. And I'm going to um, put these down right here. And we are going to throw all three right now of these. I'll start with the heaviest, this 172. Uh, the conditions I will show you are, um, there's a little slight breeze. I would say it's about a mile and a half per hour. It's not more than two. Uh, blowing north, and we are throwing across to the west. So this is a direct uh, crosswind. And generally speaking, I found that these Mambas are very sensitive to it. When I try to throw it level, it may just be my throwing style or me or the amount of power that I'm putting into these. But what I found is that uh, they tend to rise. Uh, the Mamba tends to go up in the air 40 feet, if not more. So here we go. This is the 172. I hope you folks can see this. And uh, we're going to follow this off with the three discs I showed you, uh, which aren't quite so, um, um, uh, what do you call it, un- uh, the ones that have the negative rating in front of them, uh, the uh, unstable. Uh, so these are uh, these are supposed to be uh, minus fives with an 11 rating for speed and a six for glide, which I think hurts this disc, which is why I've only rated this at 7.75 out of 10. I still think it's a good disc. I was able to put these out into the street, which is at least 270 feet. So let's go ahead. I'll start with this one right here, followed by the other two. And then I will show you the difference um, throwing three other discs um, that are also similar qualities. Okay? S similar. They're very similar. So here we go. This is the 172. And here we go. Uh, folks, I don't know if you can see this or not. These are probably going to go out in the street because I'm about 15 feet out from the rail. So uh, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that's a pretty good throw, folks. In anybody's book, that's a pretty good throw. Okay, and it's going to tree. So uh, pretty nice. You can see that, uh, that S pattern or that mamba snake pattern which is probably why they call this a Mamba. Um, I'm satisfied with that throw. That's a good throw. I'm putting a lot of pepper on these. I'm, I'm, I didn't really try to kill it, but I'm using a lot of my power for this, okay? And we're going to do the two 170s right now. And I think I threw that disc just right, okay? Here we go. And it, uh, it's probably about a 260-foot throw. 
In fact, I'm going to take my glasses off as well here. Here we go. I want another excellent throw. Another excellent throw. And yes, that's made it out on the street. And it's, I don't know what it did, but it's out there a ways. It was a good throw. And that is exactly what you want to do with this mamba. Now, I don't know why. Maybe I'm just used to it. But it's not going up in the air like it was this morning. So let's see if I can finish this out, okay? All right, let's see if I can't really get this clear across the street. Okay, now that one got away from me. And you can see what I'm talking about. And that's gone real far, and it's doing the tree down there. So you can see that one got away from me. So, because I'm trying to come up and to the right. So that got away from me. So you see what those guys are talking about. A little flippy. Or they want to go to the right, okay? So now what we'll do is we'll start off with this Corvette, which is a 14.6, okay, with I think a negative one. So let's see how this fares against it. And we'll do this twice. So you get an actual demonstration. We've got a little bit of wind coming to the north. It's not, a, it's not impeding or helping. All right, here we go. Corvette 173. Uh, fourteen six. Another excellent throw. Excellent. Okay, uh, it, it was around a two hundred and sixty foot throw, about two hundred and sixty feet. Uh, line drive, and not my best throws, but good throws. And uh, this one right here is a one sixty nine Colossus. I know it's a fourteen six. So this one's gonna to wanna to glide. I've thrown it before today. It wants to glide. Wants to go up. Here we go. 14.6, 169 gram Colossus. Okay, I hired you to go off to the left. Not good. That's what I'm always afraid of. That's why I try to bring my discs to the right. And now we got a Katana. And I will put this on hold and we will run this twice for you, okay? So we'll have six throws for the Mambas and we'll have six throws for other discs similar in class. Katana 175. That's a very good throw right there. That's a very good throw. Okay, made it to the fence around a 255 foot throw right around that area. Nice and light, nice and all pretty tight there. Hang on and we'll do it one more time. Then you can make your decision about the Mamba. Okay, 